Hey everyone, it's Holmes from Home Story Books, and I'm here to share a reading vlog with you. My wife and I went out to the family lake house for over a week, and there was no Wi Fi, so all I could do was read, and it was glorious. Here are the results. The first book I finished was Man by Kim Toy. Toy is a Vietnamese Canadian writer who writes in French. This is about a woman named Man who moves from Vietnam to Montreal and becomes a chef. She discovers herself and her past and falls in love with someone who is not her husband. But this book is so much more nuanced than that. This book is about food and the power food has over us. It's about history, nostalgia, sentimentality, and a passion for life. Tui's writing is delicate like a lotus blossom tea, but powerful like the lotus itself growing in the swamp. It demonstrates to me that you don't always have to write linear plots. You can instead write beautiful, meaningful pieces and string them together like paper planes for poignant stars. After that, I wanted to read some comics, so I chose Black Widow Volume 2, A Tightly Tangled Web by Nathan Edmondson and Phil Noto, published by Marvel, Patsy Walker, aka Hellcat, Hooked on a Feline by Kate Leth and Brittany Williams, and All New Hawkeye by Jeff Lemire and Ramon Perez, and Paper Girls Volume 2 by Brian K. Vaughan and Cliff Chang. Paper Girls. This is about a gang of young girls from the 1980s and and time travel and aliens and how their lives start to unravel. I just keep feeling let down by this series. I love Vaughn's writing so much, but this feels muddy and the timelines get messy. I spent too much time trying to figure out what was going on so we couldn't focus on the characters. I gave it three stars, but I'm not actually sure if I want to continue on with the series. The artwork is beautiful and reminds me of Leth's first volume of, of Patsy Walker, aka Hellcat, with its gorgeous pastels, but I don't know if the artwork is enough to keep me invested. This volume is super cute, feminist, and has more substance than I thought it would. The artwork is beautiful and full of really saturated pinks, blues, and purples. It's also very queer friendly, and I feel Leth's touch on every page. I loved the second Black Widow volume. It was everything that I wanted the first volume to be. The art was stunning and features a lot of characters from Natasha's life with S.H.I.E.L.D. and, and other work. So if you like the Avengers comics, I think you'll really like this one. I loved this comic because it had the emotional and character depth that I was really looking for. Natasha is someone who doesn't let a lot of people in, she has a difficult past, and so as a writer, I can only imagine how difficult, difficult it would be to convey that secrecy, but I think they succeeded in this volume. I loved All New Hawkeye by Jeff Lemoyer and Ramon Perez. It's the backstory of how Clint Barton became Hawkeye. I'm really happy Lemire wrote this volume because he's a very emotionally charged writer and this volume needed that in order to feel authentic. I love Perez's art, it's vivid and the watercolour washes on Clint's memories feel very nostalgic and pair really well with the usual mix of purples, oranges and blues. I will definitely be continuing on with this series. I also read On Loving Women by Diane Obomsawin. This was a very sweet, poignant, quiet little Quebecois book about lots of different queer stories from queer women. It's a triumph and a soft place to fall with its multitude of voices, but I will say I wish a lot of the stories were longer and now that I've had time to think about it, while I enjoy the little creatures that stand in for people, that detracts a little from the story for me, so I'm going to give it 3.5 stars. So there you have it. Those are all the books that I read while I was at the lake and for the first half of August. What was your biggest disappointment of 2017 so far? Let me know what you've been reading down in the comments below and I'll see you soon.